for me, um, truly, wilderness is my cathedral. Being out physically involved in my environment is the most important thing to me. And then understanding that environment allows you to really connect. And it's that connection that I want to get here. Putting a paddle to the water with your own hands, moving yourself through the environment. This is where I connect with the world. This trip is designed to follow the river of grass, across the lake and on down into the water management areas. We're following the water from its source to where it ends up, hydrating the glades and making the glades what they are, a premier World Heritage Site. It's the trip that I've been looking to do for almost 30 years. This expedition is 12 paddlers. We're going to be gone six days going from Arthur R. Marshall Loxahatchee Wildlife Refuge over dikes. We're portaging. We're camping on dikes. A special use permit granted us by the South Florida Water Management District. We set up camp every single night, break it down in the morning. We're following very strict leave no trace camping etiquette. Everybody that came has not only a deep interest, but a specialty that we've been able to tap. My role over the past 20 years has been to manage the water of the Everglades. It's a system that extends from Kissimmee to Florida Bay. We're about midway, getting closer and closer to the southern part of the system, Everglades National Park. What the scientists and engineers are trying to do, they're trying to find the balance between the urban areas, need for water, uh, agricultural uh, need for water, but also the, the need of this ecosystem for water. The most important thing that we have to do is tell people what we know about what's out here so that they get educated to the importance of the restoration of the Everglades. If we don't show them how we have to portage from ditch to ditch to get south, they won't understand that the flow of the water has been stopped just like we have when we portage from place to place. The natural flow of the Everglades has been disrupted so many ways, and as we travel through it, we illustrate how it's been disrupted. Hence, we are able to educate people about how it's got to be fixed. The Art Marshall Foundation is at the forefront of educational outreach for the Everglades. Being part of the Art Marshall Foundation, it's really been inspiring. A big part of our mission is educational outreach. And uh, that's one of the great things about this trip. The first time we started out with uh, just laptops and now we're up to iPads and being able to have two people on and answering questions as they come to us live from students, from the animals that we see to the temperature to water quality and really bringing them one-on-one -on -one with nature. This foundation doesn't just think about restoration. This organization performs restoration activities all the time. The thousands of people who learn as children about conservation because of their experiences with the Arthur Marshall Foundation are the next generation of saviors of this Everglades.